But let's go to uh, an Everton caller. James has phoned us up. All right, James? Leaving, you're all right. Yeah, James, I mean, look, tonight, that was, I mean, pretty embarrassing for your football club. All this season has been embarrassing for this football club, Jamie. What on earth was that tonight? We have made a very poor Chelsea side this season look world-class. You've got our defenders looking half-bothered, midfield non-existent. What on earth is it going to take for Sean Dyche to get sacked from his football club? I'm sorry, it starts at the manager. He sends them players out with a plan and not one of them have a clue what they are doing. He's a dis- Do you know what? We can't afford to sack him. We've got Fahad Mashiri sitting on his backside there tonight. Why is he over here? Why is he here? He only turns up once in a blue moon. He's a non-existent owner. Do us a favour, mate. Get lost. Please, for this football club. This football club is going down. Do you know what? Luton, they're showing fight. Nottingham Forest, they're showing fight. What on earth are we showing? It's been like this for how many years now, though? How many years are you going through this, Geese? I'm not seeing no sign of life. There isn't a sign of life. And do you know what? We can blame points deductions. We can blame ownership. We can blame this, that and the other. Do you know what? There is, that manager sends them players out of a plan. If them players are not showing what that plan is, then we might as well give up and go home. We can't afford to sack him. And that's the issue. This football club has no money. This football club is getting literally propped up by 777 who aren't even going to pass a certain process by the Premier League. What are the Premier League going to do about it? They're doing nothing. Richard Masters and his cronies sat on the backside. This football club is going down with a whimper. And this football club will go bust if people don't step in now. Fahad Mashiri, if you're not going to sell, if 777 are not going to pass the fit and proper test, put your money, put your, put your hand in your back pocket and fund this football club. It's needed, and it's needed desperately, or we have a goner. Mm, yeah, James, great call, mate. I mean, he's, he's he's not happy, is he? He's not going to be happy tonight. I want to hear more from, yeah, from the Everton fans. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll all be thinking the same way. It's always going to come back down to the owner. Listen, we can blame the gaffer, but the gaffer's only got so much to work with. But today is his fault. He's got to look at that. Yeah. So this is our, this is my fault. This is on me today. Yeah. Um, and he's probably told the players to go out there and give their best, and they haven't, have they? No. And that's up to the gaffer to um, galvanise the team. Let's go to Ryan, who's a Chelsea fan. All right, Ryan? That's boys, how are we? Yeah, good, mate, good. I mean, look, you're going to be waxing lyrical over Cole Palmer. I mean, what a performance from him. Oh, outstanding. I'm actually thankful I watched the game. I was splitting between two minds, whether to do my coursework or to actually watch the bleeding <laughs> game. <laughs> it's normally against these teams, though, where you've struggled. So tonight, it was, you know, it was one of them ones where fans probably were thinking this is going to be a poor performance, but far from it. Um, yeah, I obviously went in thinking, oh, this is either going to be another draw or we're going to lose it at the end. Mm. But I, Cole Palmer stepped up and proved why I fully believe he is the player of the season. Mm. Not, not even the signing of the season. He's been the player of the season. To go from being a Man City reject to being tied top goal scorer with their robot. Let's call it, that's, that's basically what Hall is, is a robot. Mm. Uh, and so it, it wasn't a reject. I mean, I think he had to look at maybe moving on. Yeah, no, he just wanted more game time. I think, and, he, I and think he, sh- he always had star quality. Yeah, yeah. We saw that when he was at Man City. We saw how talented he was. He just wanted uh, more game time and get more time uh, minutes on the pitch because he wants to push for that English spot, mm. and rightly so. Mm. Right, what, what do you make of the, the, the penalty incident? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's stupid, and I feel like... Um, they weren't a penalty in the first place for the first initial one that we saw, but then we saw Cole Palmer's one. Yeah. That was the penalty, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that was the penalty. Yeah. But, um, like, I think Madueke thought maybe he won it, so therefore he was saying... That's, I think that's what the confusion was. It, was. it must have been that. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.